Natasha Denona has a new serum blush out. Say less. The goods have been secured. Okay, I only got this one product, so there was no bag. I felt like a bag would have been a cooler presentation, but I did pick up the new Natasha Denona Puff Paint Liquid Blush Serum, and that brings us to today's video. It's just gonna be kind of a chill one. I'm just gonna be doing a, like a little demo and some thoughts on these new products. So in my last Sephora haul, I picked up the Fenty Beauty, uh, their Bright Fix Eye Brightener, and also the Iconic London Sheer Liquid Bronzer. I have been using these all week, so I'm gonna be showing how they apply on me and giving my thoughts on them, and then doing a first impression on the Natasha Denona Puff Paint. So. Just kind of a casual video going over some new makeup here, so let's get started. Alright, welcome! So, I don't know, I just, I feel like I'm kind of having fun doing some of these casual style videos and taking new places and all of that. And it's been really fun to read the comments on these style of videos. And a lot of people are saying that you like this more kind of casual and relaxed vibe and you like going places with me. And I thought, well, let's try to do more of those because I think it's really fun. Uh, I also got a comment the other day saying that I don't seem as uptight anymore. Which I also really enjoyed that comment. That made me laugh. That gave me a good chuckle. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm so glad that's coming across on camera. So, <laughs> yay. But... To jump into it, I do already have my foundation down, which is the Dior Backstage Face and Body. A little bit of eyeshadow on from the Sigma uh, Ambiance Palette. And yeah, so quick OOTD check before we get started. I'm just wearing like my casual around the house romper. I've been wearing it quite a bit around the house, like when I don't want to wear like shorts or sweatpants, but it's also like 98 degrees out right now, so it's super warm. So I just wanted to like, not be wearing a lot of clothes to be honest with you because it's it's a scorcher out there okay um so that's my OTD of the day i don't know yet when i'm filming this on a friday and i'm also doing i'm in the middle of also filming my members exclusive video for may which is my members voted on a day in my life and they wanted to see a friday in vegas so i've been taking you around everywhere I don't know yet what I'm doing tonight, but I will be vlogging it for that members exclusive video. So if you're ever interested in the membership, this next video should be pretty funny, I think. But uh, I'm gonna start off with the Fenty Beauty Concealer. And it has this little interesting uh, applicator for it. And I think I'm just gonna use, what I typically have been doing is I just squeeze a little bit out onto my fingers. I got the shade Deep Melon, which I think is really good. That's too much product, Samantha. Get it together. This is how much I... Okay, maybe for both eyes we can make this work, but I probably don't need that much product. Um, I got the shade Deep Melon, which on Instagram I posted a video using the concealer and also the bronzer, and I just kept saying Melon. Deep Melon. All right, let me zoom you in a little bit so you can see what we're working with here. So I just take a little bit on my finger and kind of just dot around there, okay. I really enjoyed this color. The sales associate at Sephora uh, helped me pick it out. And it has a little bit of a peachy tone to it. Kind of helps like cancel everything out, but it really does help with uh, brightening also. So this one is retailed for $25. I honestly, it's really thin, it's really lightweight. Like you could take your finger and blend it out and that's what she did in the store i mean honestly shoot yeah i know you really can like you really can do that you guys know that i just i don't typically use my fingers all that often but i swear i'm just a completely different person these days i'm just i don't even know what to tell you like even my eyeshadow is applying it with my fingers but i am going to take a brush just to make it like a little bit smoother this is just a little sephora brush i use it for concealer i use it for powder i use it for whatever i feel like using it for but it's clean right now so i was like i'm just going to use this to blend the concealer a little bit i mean can you see how beautiful that is so easy to work with like the consistency reminds me a little bit of the armani power fabric 
because it's so lightweight like that concealer i have no issues blending out with my fingers no issues at all super easy to blend instantly bright like i'm really really impressed with this one I'm really interested when it first came out and i went to sephora pretty quickly to try it and like i said i've been trying it all week and i know when i posted that instagram i actually posted it today a lot of people were saying what do you think of the fenty what do you think of the fenty i'm like i think it's really good to me it really cancels out like all the darkness all the shadows brightens everything up just gives a really nice smooth even coverage and again it's just really easy to work with very lightweight my biggest con like if i'm like really trying to be nitpicky here is that it can get a little bit messy on the applicator and also there's been a couple times where i've used it where it won't stop coming out of the applicator and i'm like whoa, whoa, whoa. what's going on it's only happened a couple times but still i'm like no product back in back in so that's really the only thing again i think deep melon is really good shade match on me um i I hope this demo helped you see how like beautiful this concealer is. But I'm very impressed. It holds up really well. I've tried it with a handful of different powders, uh, both pressed powders and loose powders. It's been holding up really well. I think this is going to be a good summer staple for me. It fits in really well with my Dior Dior routine. And then we just add a little Fenty in there, like the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation, plus the powder, no powder, the Fenty. It's like Charlotte Tilbury powder. I think that's what you call a hot girl summer. I went ahead and set my under eyes with the Charlotte Tilbury powder. I don't really find any concealer to be like creaseless. <laughs> so I always set my concealers with powders. Um, so yeah, there's that. But the Charlotte Tilbury is obviously a big favorite of mine. So I have that done. And then we're gonna move over to the Iconic London Sheer Bronzer. Now I have the shade Caramel, this was $25. And I, I kind of went back and forth on this. I actually added it to my loves list a while ago, like when it first came out, <laughs> which was not that long ago. And I was curious about it, but the word sheer was kind of throwing me off. And then when I mentioned it, I think it was in my Sephora haul, people were saying that they thought it, it didn't give enough to them. And I was like, oh no, because you know, like I love bronzing. I, uh, but I have actually been really pleasantly surprised with this. I find it really easy to use, really easy to blend out. In the Instagram video that I posted on my reels today where I'm using this, I, you know, was trying to be Instagram worthy. So I like on my face and so much came out. I was like, oh no, blend it out like that. I was like, oh, okay. In the video, I was like, don't panic, don't panic. Like everything was fine. Blends out so easily. I kind of go a little heavy handed, but I go heavy handed pretty much on any bronzer that I'm using. But I'm fine, like I'm, I'm really, I've been enjoying this. So uh, I'm just gonna apply it with a sponge today. I'm not gonna do the drippy thing because I was already, when I was doing my foundation, I uh, somehow managed to spill foundation on my favorite neon yellow sports bra. And I really hope that it comes out because I really like that one. So I'm just gonna add a little bit to the sponge instead and we're gonna do it this way. So yeah, you'll see that in the day in my life for the members channel. So I'm just gonna go ahead, like a little tap tap. I'm gonna add more to the other side for sure. I mean, I'll probably just add more anyways. So I, I don't know, it's hard for me to say because I just love bronzer and I always pile it on so much. But if you are used to something that maybe is a little bit, you know, has a little bit more oomph and that's what you prefer, this one might not be like the greatest for you. You know, maybe I'll end up going through it like really, really fast and being like, oh no, but I don't, I didn't think the price was bad. I think the packaging looks really chic and nice. And again, I am a cream and liquid kind of girl. Okay, thank you so much, I am. But I still get a little bit intimidated, especially by liquid. Liquid scares me more than just like a cream product does. But this definitely reminds me of the Charlotte Tilbury contour one in the ease of use. Just really easy to use, really easy to blend, really quick and easy, gives you that really pretty flush. I've been enjoying it. I really have been. And I'm, I'm, I'm very surprised by that, but I think it's been working well for me. I haven't powdered my face yet since I'm using the liquid products. And I kind of like to do the Dior afterwards 
Sometimes if I'm using all powder products, I'll use it, you know, right after my foundation and concealer. But a lot of times I kind of like to wait because I feel like it's such a blurring powder and I feel like it can really just kind of tie everything together. I don't, it's just, you guys know, the Dior powder is my favorite. Seeing all of the tags of so many of you grabbing the powder, I hope you enjoy it. I was out for Risa's birthday and my air conditioning turned on and it is like obnoxiously loud in here. So I was just adding some to my forehead and I don't have it like perfectly blended. Um, a lot of times when I do like the reverse foundation and I'm using all liquid products first, I don't blend it all until later and again that's kind of like the stuff with the dr powder so sometimes when i'm using a lot of liquid and cream i look a little off kilter for a bit but it's just makeup and we just keep going and it's fine um but i was out for reese's birthday and she had bought the dr powder and the fenty eavesdrop and i thought it was so funny because she was showing me that and i thought it was super funny because that's what i had brought <laughs> to get ready with so i was like yeah girl yeah girl all right, so for the Natasha Denona, that is what we are going to do next. Her Puff Paint Liquid Serum Blush. This was $22. And I'm really proud that when I went to Sephora, I only left with this. I only left with one shade because I had a second where I was like, should I buy all three? But I only bought this one. Uh, and this was all that I bought because when I got up there, they were like, oh, for Memorial Day, if you spend more than $50, you get 500 bonus points. And I was like, nope. So very proud of that. Uh, okay. I haven't seen anyone talk about how to apply this yet, though. I should have looked that up. Should I go through to Natasha Instagram? <laughs> okay, she just tapped it right on her cheek. You know, sometimes I try not to do that with the whole, like, hygiene thing. Uh, hmm. Okay, let me let me see what this shade looks like. So I got... Ooh, okay. That might be a little... Mm, okay. So this one is in tan, which I think they described as, like, a peachy tan. But that, I mean, that looks pretty peachy. Um, hopefully it'll work out. I'm sure it'll be fine. Again, it's just makeup. Never panic if you don't like your makeup. My goodness, you can just wash it off. Okay, so I'm just gonna... I worry that this could be too light. Oh no, oh no. I saw someone comment and said the darkest one is really pretty for summer. And I might... Uh oh, I might have to uh, exchange my shades, which I hate doing. Oh, oh, oh no. Hmm, let's see. She used a brush. I need more, okay, okay. I need your input, please. Uh, what are your favorite brushes for cream products? But because I haven't used them a ton, I don't really have a lot of brushes. Like usually I use duo fibers for cream or liquid products, but I don't have a lot of them and I need to get some more because I have changed. So. This just means that I have to buy more brushes. <laughs> so sad. I love brushes. They make me really happy. So, I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out. Okay, that's not too bad. It does give like, yeah, I like, you know, kind of like nude blushes. Yeah, and that is a little peachy. I'm going to add a little bit more. I feel like this side especially is not looking blended out, but do like, please, really, please, do not panic. Okay, the more that I blend that out the more i the more that i like it my initial initial reaction was i was afraid that you wouldn't really be able to see it on me but that's pretty i feel like it's easy to blend out it doesn't feel like super drying or anything like that and i'm really into like right now i'm really into more like natural looking lightweightness and i think that's why i'm also liking the cream and the liquid because something about them i just feel like can look a little bit more natural. And I'm not minding the combination of those two. Hmm. Okay, okay. So far, so far, so good. I don't know if I'd say like I'm, you know, like totally knocked out of the park or anything yet, but sometimes I don't always feel that way upon first impressions, but I still, but I, I like it. The, I think the shade is the only thing that I'm like, am I going to, you know, love this throughout the summer. I might even, if I end up liking the formula, if I decide like, hey, I really do like this formula, I might go and grab that uh, darkest shade because there's only three shades. 
on the blushes. So I might go in and grab that one. So now I'm just going to go ahead with my Dior powder, no powder. And then this is where I just powder my whole face and I go right on top of those liquids and creams. And I can always come back and reapply if I need to. You know, I could always come back in with powder products if I wanted to. I mean, obviously it's your makeup. You can do whatever it is that you want with it. But I've just been finding doing it this way. I like uh, instead of trying to do the liquids and the creams on top of the powder, there's been a couple times where I'm like, eh, I just, I feel like it kind of picks things up and, you know, maybe it doesn't look quite as, as polished. I go pretty, I don't know, heavy handed. Like I just, this powder I'm obsessed with. So I take it down my neck. I take it on my chest. I take it on my shoulders. It just is like a blurring filter and I love it. So I'm not gonna add any more product to the beauty blender that I was using. This one is from Dose of Colors. I'm just gonna tap that over my cheeks just to bring a little bit back. But again, I'm trying to do like this more natural look and I feel like, I feel like I'm really liking this. I think my forehead still looks good. Yeah, everything is looking good. So this just brings back a little bit more. If I had used brushes, then I would like do the same thing with the brush. But I just, for me, I don't wanna add anything more on top of it i really like the way that this is looking right now so here is a little close-up i feel like i'm really i don't have highlight on right now i mean i'm gonna put a highlight on nobody i'm not <laughs> i'm not that changed i will be putting on highlight but i don't have any on right now and i just I'm really liking what we have what we have going on right now so I'm going to go ahead and finish off the rest of my makeup and then come back for some final thoughts. Some final thoughts on these products, the Fenty Concealer, like I said, really enjoying it, lightweight, easy to use. I feel like it covers and brightens and I've been really impressed with this one. And then the Iconic London Bronzer, still really enjoying this one, still finding it easy to use. Yes, you might need to, to build it up a few times, but I like it. I still feel like it gives me that bronzy look while still like the bronzy look that I really like yet while not being too much and it still looks natural and then especially like once you blend everything together and add the powder and all of that. I've just I've been enjoying it. It's a liquid bronzer. I'm very surprised but so far so good. And then the grand finale piece the new Natasha Denona blushes. Again color wise I, I thought I guess I thought it might be a little bit more and this is so sad that we can't use testers and there wasn't anyone in the store that was uh, helping me at the moment because maybe if I would have been able to swatch it, I would have grabbed a different shade, but that's okay because I still think that I like it. Obviously, I'm going to try it more times so I can give an actual review, but just to have a little demo of it, I put the Natasha Denona Super Glow on, okay? I was like, why would I not do that? I put my Pat McGrath contour lip liner on. I was like, come on, girls, come on in. We got the Charlotte part. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, but I still, I thought it was really easy to blend out. Uh, she used a brush in the video. I used my sponge here just because that's what I was using. I feel like even to use your fingers with that blush. <laughs> Who am I? But I feel like even to use your fingers, it just seemed pretty lightweight. And like I said, not drying seemed really easy to blend out. So I'll definitely be trying this a few more ways. But I would love to know if you picked up a Natasha blush and what you think and what shade you like and and all of those things because I'm definitely very curious about this one. So I'll be testing it. I feel like as I get new makeup, it's like all I wear until I have a really solid thought on it and then I'm going to review it and then I'll move on to the next product. Like sometimes I try to try so many things. I try to try so many things all at once and it can get a little bit sporadic and I'm like just focus on these products, review them, then you're then you're good to try more products. Then you're good, girl. Uh, but I hope that you found this enjoyable. Just kind of a chill like little demo of some new makeup that's out and some of my thoughts on them. If you like the style of video, let me know. That would be great. Other than that though, that's it. I gotta go pick up my dog from daycare. So I hope that you have a good rest of your day. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give this one a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go and I'll see you in my next video.